Here's a little bit of help with practice problem number five on your post-test review. So in this case, it's asking you to solve for all values of y. So don't let this inequality sign here in the middle um, distract you or anything. This is still a fairly typical multi-step equation where you want to get all of your y's on one side and naked numbers on the other. So I'm going to start by combining my variables. I have an 8y here and I have a 6y here. I usually start with the left side, so I'm going to move this 8y in order to get this canceled out and be left with just negative 2 here. This is saying greater than. So 6y minus 8y is going to give me a negative 2y plus 38. Now because I moved my y's from left to right, I want to move my naked numbers from right to left, so I'm going to subtract my 38 in order to cancel it out. So I'm left with negative 40 is greater than negative 2y. Again, not quite done yet. I still need to get y by itself. This is being multiplied here. This is saying negative 2 times y. So in order to undo that, I needed to divide both sides by negative 2. And this is going to get this is going to say now 20 is greater than y. If she's asking you to graph it or to put it on a number line, I would flip the equation around to make it make a little bit more sense. So in this case, I'm going to start with my y. And because I'm moving it, I need to flip my sign around. So this is saying y is less than 20. So in order to put it on a number line, put your number there. That's the number you solve for y. And then you want to go up or down. So in this case, like think of a number line. I'm going to put 10 here. I'm going to put 30 here. Now remember, because this is a there's no equal sign that just says less than, this will be an open dot. And I need to point my arrow where y is less than 20. So in this case, my arrow is going to point towards this way because this is where all of the numbers are less than 20.